Hey everybody, it is Mona here at Craft Clutch, and today is Friday. That means it is another Poster Friday. Today we're going to be doing some fun and colorful crater coasters. I discovered this by mistake when I was trying to color some resin, and it kind of had a neat effect, so I thought we would make some crater coasters. So there's some kind of cool chemical reaction that takes place, things start bubbling and all of that. So I don't know if it gives off any kind of weird or funky fumes. So you just want to make sure you are either one, working in a very well ventilated area, just in case, or you could wear a respirator. Either way, it might be perfectly safe, but it's always better to protect yourself. I made one of these coasters by accident. I was experimenting and I accidentally got a whole different reaction than I expected. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make crater coasters just like this one and we're going to make nine of them. So we'll have a variety of colors and it's a quick, 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 easy coaster. You can whip them out very quickly. And even though it looks like it's an uneven surface, cups and water bottles sit on here nice and stable. I tried it. So each of these coasters is going to be one ounce and for this I'm using the fast curing resin and I will have more information about that down in the description below and I always have more information over on my website as well and that's craftclatch.com. So you're going to have a part A and a part B like you would with your other resin. You just want to measure out a half an ounce of each which gives you one full ounce. You don't have a lot of extra time. Read the directions, but you have about 30 seconds in one cup and 30 seconds in another cup. Okay, then I'm gonna add the unicorn spit, which has a heavy amount of pigment in there. And remember, this cures white, so it doesn't come out as dark as you pour it in there. But it reacts and it starts to bubble and you end up with a cool crater effect. And it sounds like Rice Krispie cereal. And it's still warm, but it's already hard. That's how quick it works. Once they've cured, which takes about 15 minutes for a full cure, all you have to do is pop them right out of the mold. And there you have a crater coaster. So here are our very cool coasters. Um, these were two different greens. This one was a teal and this is a green, so you can see a little bit of a variation there. 
Obviously we had our orange, our yellow, our purple, our black, our red, our blue, and then we had the brown. Now the brown has this edge here only because I had some paint left in the mold from a different project so it just picked it right up and pulled it out so now my mold is nice and clean. You can see you can put a water bottle on there. It's nice and stable. It'll still collect any drips or condensation just in the little holes and you can wash the coasters because they're just a hard resin. There's the back just plain. I hope you guys like the coasters and I hope you give them a try. Just think you can do an array of colors for any occasion. And you can do it like the night before. Hope you guys like the Crater Coaster. Super easy, super fun, super fast. You can do it the night before a party or anytime you want. And you can just whip them up really quick. They are really fun and very lightweight. I think they're really cool. Hey, if you guys are on Pinterest, be sure to follow me there. I'm actively pinning all the time. I have that link down in the description below along with my Facebook page, Facebook group, and all my other links. So you can find me anywhere and everywhere. Thank you guys so much for being here. And remember, life's too short not to shimmer. So grab your glue gun and your glitter. Stay safe. Bye, guys.